yo yo my guys welcome but but back to another va video and today we are going to be ranking every single nintendo console and handheld now we are going to be leaving out the game boy pocket micro and advanced sp we're also going to be leaving out all of the nintendo ds clones with the exception of the nintendo 3ds we're also not going to be including the nes or super nintendo classic as well as any Japanese counterparts. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Starting off with Nintendo's first ever actual console release, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, I really like the original Nintendo because number one, it was home to all of the classic games like the Super Mario Brothers franchise, Legends of Zelda franchise, and a bunch of other fan favorites now. Also, it was what saved the video game industry. Also, it came with a bunch of really cool accessories, like the Rob, the Zapper guns, and a bunch of other cool things. So, I think the Nintendo Entertainment System fairly deserves an S tier to start off the video. Moving on to the next one. Next up, we have Nintendo's second generation and their first handheld, the Nintendo Game Boy. Now, I really like the Game Boy personally, but there's just one problem. The graphics on it are really off. I mean, I really prefer the NES because at least it had color. But we'll get back to that later. But for now, I'll put the Game Boy in C tier. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Next up, we have Nintendo's second console, home console, the Super Nintendo. And the Super Nintendo was a really fascinating console because it was also introduced to many classics like the Star Fox series, F-Zero series, and the Mario Kart series. But all in all, it was a really cool console, but the Super Nintendo isn't as good as the NES, but it also is a really good console, so I'm gonna give it an A tier. <laughs> Next up, we got Nintendo's biggest disappointment. I mean, the Virtual Boy. Now, the Virtual Boy was a really odd console. Nowadays, you'd see it looks like a VR with a stand and red, basically. Um, I've never played a Virtual Boy, but just by seeing like what it does, the graphics in black and red, and you putting your face in it, I couldn't imagine how much that would hurt your head. And plus it has a selection of 14 games, only few of them seeming to be fun, like Jack Bros and Wario Land. And Jack Bros, that cost a shit ton of money, so I'd probably pass on that one. And also including the fact that the Virtual Boy controller has two D-pads instead of a D-pad and an analog stick that would make more sense. Also, the start and select buttons are bigger than usual. I would think they should especially make them smaller since you don't see what you're doing. But other than the fact of its horrible graphics, its crappy controller, it is a really cool collector's item like I mentioned earlier. And I think it's a pretty cool designed machine as well. Also, the fact that it was the first ever virtual reality device also puts it up there. So, instead of giving it an F tier like someone would usually do, I'm gonna be nice and put it in E, e tier. Next up, we have the Nintendo 64. Probably one of the best Nintendo consoles out there. It bought 3D gaming to Nintendo, also being home to Super Mario 64, one of the most influential video games out there. The graphics on it are okay, but the one thing about it that I really just... I'm not a fan of, is the controller. I mean, <laughs> that really is the elephant in the room. But all jokes aside, the controller on it is pretty trash. 
like it took me a while to get to know how to hold it <laughs> i literally had to look on a youtube video to learn how to hold a controller but all in all the nintendo 64 is a really good console What I was talking about earlier, about the Game Boy being in color, is what we're going to be talking about now with the Game Boy Color. Yeah, the Game Boy Color. Pretty original. Well, the idea was basically to play Game Boy games, but to put them in color. And I really like that. And plus, the Game Boy Color also has some games of its own. So just for that, I think it would deserve a solid B tier. <laughs> Next up, the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance is a really cool console because it plays Game Boy and Game Boy Color games in way better graphics. The handheld doesn't really look so comfortable, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it also has some games of its own. Um, but the Game Boy Advance, I would probably move it up to A tier just because it's an improvement from the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Next up is probably my favorite Nintendo console out there, the GameCube. Now, this may be uncommon, but the GameCube, probably after the NES, is my favorite Nintendo console to its amazing selection of games, such as Melee, Double Dash, Chibi Robo, to its really comfortable controller, to its amazing jingle when you start up the system, to its fascinating cubic design, and also the tiny discs, and it's just a really fun console to collect for you. The GameCube deserves an S tier. Next up we have the Nintendo DS, probably one of my favorite consoles. Not consoles, handhelds. <laughs> um, but the Nintendo DS has a really cool mechanic of there being two screens in one. And it also has an amazing selection of games and the best Mario Kart game of all time, Mario Kart DS. Personally, Mario Kart DS brings back the best memories. So probably just for Mario Kart DS alone and with the other DS games like New Super Mario Bros. Oh yeah, it also started off the New Super Mario Bros. series. Stupid! So yeah, that, that deserves an S tier. Next up we have the Nintendo Wii. The Nintendo Wii is a pretty cool console, because it's home to a lot of really cool games, like the Wii series, which includes Wii Sports, Wii Fit, Wii Play, and a lot of other cool things. It also is home to the Miis, which have a pretty questionable design, but at the same time, they're really cool because they're used for the Wii games. It also has a port to where you can play GameCube games, which is cool, but it's always fun to play them on the original system. The Wii, I think deserves an A tier. Not really my favorite and my type of console, but it is a really cool creation that Nintendo made. Next up, we have the Nintendo 3DS, basically the Nintendo DS, but in 3D. Also a really cool console. No, why do I keep on saying console for everything? Everything's a console. You know what? You see this thing? This thing that I just grabbed off my shelf? This is now a home console. All right, let's hook it up to the TV. Anyways, the 3DS can also play Nintendo DS games, which is also a really cool thing. It also has the sequel to the new Super Mario Brothers on the DS. I would rather go with the Wii U personally, but the 3DS deserves an A tier, just for it having more success than the Wii U. Next up is the Wii U. I recently picked up the Wii U, and it's pretty cool. It also is home to the Mario Maker series, which also has a part on the 3DS. 
but the Wii U, the gamepad is a really cool mechanic. Not the most comfortable thing out there, but it's really cool that you get to play on a gamepad and on the big screen on the TV. So I would give the Wii U a solid B tier because it didn't really turn out so well in Nintendo's favor, but it's a pretty cool console once you look at it. Next and finally, we have the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo's first hybrid console. I really like it because first off, you can play it in your hands on the TV and it has a huge selection of games, a big variety for everyone, from having a Tetris game, another sequel of Tetris, to having a game where you could play Mario Kart in your living room. I would say that's a really big step up from the Super Nintendo version, if you ask me. But the Nintendo Switch also is home to some of Nintendo's best games, like Super Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Metroid Dread, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I could go on for days. So it deserves an easy S tier. That is my rankings of all of the Nintendo consoles and handhelds. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe, all that crap. And we will see y'all in the next video.